Hi, it's the 3rd of September today. Uh, we've been out judging over the last couple of days and seen some nice uh, leaks and produce all around. A uh, very good show to look at was the Moncton Show. It's on YouTube, you'll see it. Uh, I've put on a must watch. Um, quite a few lads have asked me over the weekend how I actually put my leaks back to seed. And they said, would you show us properly? So I've just dug two leaks up. One, I've just stripped a few foliage flags off, middle foliage, cut the root off. bare patch there but there's roots there it's okay it's not hasn't got a hole it's got roots up it right so that's the the leak stripped down this is my new seedling uh, grass from seedling nice leak take it and we'll cut cut the bar off clean off so we end up with a leak like that you can see that i'll take a knife to it this is rust marks off the knife it's it hasn't been used for a few weeks we'll cut into the plant all i'm actually looking for is that center green core you can see there so i'm going to remove all of this foliage slit the sides it makes it much easier to peel off if you take notice here one, two, three flags here. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five and six flags coming off here. So you sometimes get this inside your leak. So we need to get rid of all that. Six, seven, Six, seven, six, seven, and another eight. That's eight flags removed. It's just not big now, but just to show you, this has still got some quality. Remove all the rough around the bottom. I hope you can see all this. That's it, nicely cleaned off. All the marks have gone. I'm going to remove another one. That's nine leaves I've taken off, nine skins. And that's still a smooth leak. Still a decent leak. All I'm looking for is that green growth in the centre that pop out. And that's one done. This one was burnt quite badly. Cut the foliage, the roots and the foliage off. Again, check the bottom. Yep, there's roots growing out the centre there. There's no hole in that either. So taking all the top growth off. As you see, there's a lot of burn and damage in there. As you can see, get rid of all that. Initially, there's still a bit where it's gone right down into the barrel of the plant. We're going to remove all that. We'll just take some off. Don't be frightened. It's only the center green core that we're looking for, just that middle bit. A lot being taken off and it still hasn't gone really coarse around the base it's going to be a good leak for the future this i've said all along i did think it would uh, win the quality classes we just need to get some stock at the right time off the heads 
and maybe to grow some outside as well because most of the comments I put on um, the leaks yesterday were over stripped and thrip damage and obviously over stripping is either through too much feed which I haven't done um, excessive heat where we've had to strip more off than we would want to which is what I'm now doing or setting them on the heads too early there we are that's two nice clean leaks there so now all I basically do is um, two three litre plant pots with some Jonas base for uh, Jonas number two fertilizer and they will be put in just an inch deep basically just to take that bottom core this is where all your new roots going to come from that root is now dead and in a few weeks time that will produce nice clean stock just clean my hands up a little bit here and if you remember the last time i did a video i'm gonna click this off last time i did a video um i was actually cleaning leaks down that's another nice leak there this is the DN1. It's got a few dead foliage on, but nice quality leak. I think that's going to be another leak. Um, Tom Powell's just won two classes with these two new leaks. Um, both looked very good, very good quality. You need to strip quite a few off. Right, we'll just turn the camera. Uh, right, I'll go into here. I have removed most of the heads out of here because it's too hot and the heads are actually burning. Uh, if we walk along here, well, don't think you see. They're not the later heads that's popping up. They're nice and fresh, but all the early ones they've struggled. Uh, the ones right up a height. I've come the wrong side because we're going into sunshine. But you can see those. They're like straw. The lower ones that have come up as side shoots. They're better, much better. These are all king pods, off the bottoms. Smaller heads, but they're all nice and fresh. Right, the ones that I actually stripped down a week or two back. This is them. And you can see all the new centre growth that's popped out. So in actual fact, there is still a little bit more. This can be stripped off as well. But I will leave those just for guard flags until they get right away. They're growing away nicely. They're coming nice and clean. Now, Peter Holden was telling me he had some that he cut off, and as the centre was growing out, he was still getting thrip damage. None of these are, but I do have some, which they are. there we are, there's a little bit further on. And as you can see, they've come nice and clean now. They'll produce good plants before Christmas. There's a load on the centre here doing exactly the same. They're all nice and clean. But... There's one or two along here, if you look. You can see the thrip on there. So this centre growth popped out and there is thrip on it. Or well, there's thrip marks on it. Now what I'll do here, um, these will be, well, they've been sprayed twice already. And I'll continue to spray it to make sure the new growth, which is coming right out the centre, is nice and clean. So basically that's what we do with the stock. Uh, we're looking for seed heads they're all the way along i'll walk up and show you where the other stock heads are tomatoes have been absolutely brilliant it has worked keeping my own seed this is from Maisie, and they've been absolutely superb i picked some really nice tomatoes off uh put them down for one side to keep my own seed again i'll just show you what i've got here and the dogs ate them so <laughs> the dogs love them but never mind i've got quite a bit there already it's in here drying out some good seed there that's tomato seed onion heads are doing very well nice black seed they're in here drying there's plenty of heads so they're all looking good lovely fat seed and some of the seed if i just lift them up it is starting to drop out as you can see in the tray so maybe it's another week in here to dry and then i'll be taking those out right we'll move up and take a look at the leak heads that I have inside. Now this just shows you the difference from an open polytunnel where the sun's catching them to put an undercover with plenty of air and plenty of shading on them. Here we go. As you can see, there's some tremendous heads in here.
Really nice heads. And good busy heads there, plenty on them. The size of the grass on this one, that's another new leak. It's gonna be a good one. Now one or two that are there that had been completely burnt, are shaved right down and they're actually starting to come away again. So hopefully we'll get some heads off those. But as you can see, the heads are in good condition. Stems are still nice and green right down to the base. I'm just trying to keep these fresh. And hopefully there's two that were badly burnt, but they've come away again. So they'll produce small grass. And another some down here. So there's plenty of nice stock to go at. These are a few of the later ones which I've brought in. Uh, just starting to struggle with, well, starting to pull away. They were struggling with the heat. One or two that's burnt, which is a shame because this is a new one as well. And I was wanting to get, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get very much of it. That's the state of play uh, at the moment. Hopefully, it's just a quick look. It's only a five minute video. I've just put uh, the Moncton, the Lord Nelson Moncton show on. It's well worth a look, uh, ladies and gents. Superb show. I'm sure if you look, you'll be inspired. And uh, we all have to try and achieve what they have done. The show is tremendous. The big show of the Northeast Horticultural Society in Stanley is on next weekend. Uh, the 9th is benching day and the 10th the show is open for everyone. Television cameras will be there about 12 o'clock. So tune in, have a look. Um, hopefully you'll see us on Look North on the evening time. Thank you now. Bye bye.